Needing positivity all around you Made me life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds I try to tear you down Why they want to tear me down? Tortoise, what's up? Gang, what's up, baby? Did you miss me? Cause I miss y'all motherfucking asses, honey. What's going on in the life of a Taurus? Are you guys illuminating shit? Are you guys in this space of expansion? Are y'all trucking y'all way through the bullshit? Are you not giving a fuck about what the fuck them people saying? Cause you're too busy getting to the shmami? Honey? Huh? Huh? <laughs> hey, boo, hey. Hey, boo, hey. This first time you're on my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? Make cuss a little, make cuss a lot. Just depend on what the hell these cards said. Oh, I'm a cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right down now. To find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, this is how we do it. Sha -da 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 -da. That's my shit, okay? So without further ado, you guys, let me thank you guys for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, you guys. The love, the support. Thank you from the most humblest space ever. Thank you, okay? Also, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description box below. This ain't finna resonate with every damn tourist. Y'all take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe don't fit, don't try and force your motherfucking foot through it. Because your ass gonna fall, okay? Every time. Period. Also, um, if you're new to the family, <laughs> hey boo, welcome to the family, honey. <laughs> Will it is functional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss shit. You know that. This is how we do it. We laugh, we grow, we love, we enlighten. Posy vibes only over here. We one big happy family, all right? So without further ado, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watches, Jupiter, Mars, the North Node, the Taurus. Let's talk about it for the month of December, honey. I'm all anxious and excited, Taurus. When I got into your energy, I felt all kind of fucking ways, honey. Taurus, I feel like some of you guys are all over the place, okay? For some of you all, you're getting things balanced and you're in this space of restructuring, okay? I'm also, I also picked up on a lot of subconscious energy from Taurus, okay? Or a lot of subconscious revelations. I feel like for some of you all, there's a lot of connecting with your ancestors that has passed over to the other side. I feel like for some of you all, two things I got from this. There, I feel like for some of you all, there are ancestors of yours that is warning you of a particular person, event, circumstance, place, okay? I feel like for some of you all, you're just now getting to the point where you're, there are synchronicities not enough for you where you're trusting, okay, these warnings or there's a need to. For others of you, I feel like there's your ancestors that are assuring you that are like, like, like congratulating you or like cheering for you when it comes to a particular decision that you're making, okay? I am hearing for some of you all, this has to do with your legacy. It also has to do with rebuilding generational wealth in your family. For some of you all, I feel a father energy, a grandfather energy who could have done something involving land, okay? Property. I'm even hearing meals, okay? This could also be farmland. Somebody fucked up. They made a fucked up decision. For some of you all, this is your ancestor. This is your spirit guide, okay? This is the ancestor that is assisting you on getting to the next level is what I'm hearing, okay? Some of you all, there was a caution when it comes to trust what you feel around certain people's energy stories. For some of you all, I feel like someone's trying to bring you back, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with love. For some of you all, this has to do with partnership and someone's just a fucking coward about it. They don't want to take accountability for what they did in the past or make right with what they did, but they want to work with you, okay? I feel that you are being divinely protected, okay? For some of you all, I am hearing spell work backfire. So for some of you all who are worried about somebody trying to come in the middle of a divine partnership for others of you i'm also hearing a family you can worry not baby okay you are covered you are protected all right it will not penetrate it shall not all right i also picked up on the energy of a tourist they need to wash their motherfucking back i am the messenger your company your motherfucking cross watches better not come from me okay Cause I'm the messenger of this shit, but somebody needs to watch their motherfucking back tours. I feel like someone, you could have recently came into some money, 
or this could be how someone feels about you okay but i feel the energy of someone feeling as if they need to watch their back or watch what you watch what it is that you're telling people i feel like someone's waiting on you to slip up and say something i feel like this it has gotten beyond someone wanting to ask you for something but at this point someone wants what you have i'm also hearing partner okay and this, I feel like this is the energy of someone being close because I did channel your first channel message song was Mo3 uh, featuring Kevin Gates, Broken Love. Okay, y'all go check that out because I don't remember all the words, but it came to me so smoothly. I had to go look up the song because I'm a Mo3 fan, but I can't remember all the words to this song. But when I got to listening to it, honey, that energy just took me out. Okay, uh, I'm also picking up on someone. Some of you guys could be finding out that someone is trying to be petty and come for your partner like someone really wants to hurt you Taurus I feel like meanwhile you mind your own magical business not giving a fuck about this individual but someone feels as if they they it, it, it's a it's a it's like a I gotta get you type of energy like who did how dare you boss up and be successful how dare you break up with me and move on and go have a happy relationship how dare you not give me that ass no more because I'm a whole motherfucking uh thought okay how dare you fucking Taurus how dare you love your motherfucking self bitch who is this crazy motherfucker somebody need to tag me in so I can get them together honey I'm gonna start a whole fucking Tag me in service. The fuck? Alright. So, um, I also got your second channel song for the month of December was Sean Kingston. Um, I do know that song, honey. <laughs> that was my ish. <laughs> but it goes, um, it's called Beautiful Girls. And it goes, your way to beautiful girl. That's why it'll never work. You have me suicidal suicidal okay so off of the rip of that i heard confidence okay i'm also picking up on i'm hearing out of your league so someone feels as if you're out of their league or you feel as if someone else is out of your league which is why you're not saying nothing you're doing a lot of stalking and not talking or vice versa you know your damn story okay but we're gonna jump into the intuitive messages that i wrote down also taurus Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Some of you all are in two minds when it comes to some type of spiritual business or spiritual practice. I feel like some of you all could have been raised very religious, but I feel like there's this element of having a huge interest of something. It has to do with occult, and I'm hearing occult wisdom, occult knowledge, esoteric intelligence, okay? Cosmic consciousness. I am feeling as if the energy, like some of you guys are stepping into your power, but there's this aspect of looking. Just look over your shoulder, honey, to see who the fuck is looking or what other people are gonna say. I feel like there's a need for you to trust yourself, okay? So let's jump into it, honey. You guys, for the month of December, Taurus, you got travel. You got two-faced, fear of failure, sleeping with the enemy, paybacks, reimbursements, paternity, health scare, procrastination, harvest, business expansion, insecure, telepathy, exposure, spirit guide encounters, portals, inspiration, synchronicity, stalker, heart chakra, Clairvoyance, mediumship, mirror magic, mirroring, shadow work, sex magic, trauma bonding, positive vibes only, clingy children. I also, they, they're telling me to stop right there with the clingy children. Some of your children are coming into their spiritual gifts or they're not understanding them, especially if you have a child anywhere between 8 and 14, okay? And especially if that child is a male or if it's a female baby, I feel like this female baby could be a tomboy, but you could also be a masculine Taurus. Like, children may be very clingy to you, even if they're not your kids. This could be for the feminine too, but I am hearing clingy children. These children are gifted, and they're like they're 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 like synchronicities to you that this is a part of your life purpose or your life path around children, okay? Or like they're like confirming like the, the goal of your plan, okay? Trauma bonding. Oh, I, I did that. Ancestral protection, detox, projection, confidence boost, star seed, fasting, diet change, say less, sex addictions, moon magics, rituals, envious, shallow minds, financial blessing, observation, compromise, collaboration, trust issues. Divinely guided plan, business influx, occult knowledge. Okay? So, Taurus, 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 Taurus. December's gonna be a fucking busy month for you, eh? 
Honey, okay? I did pick up on a lot of energy of Taurus. Be careful who you're lending money out to. Some of y'all gonna lend some money out possibly to this water sign, this air sign. Somebody's intentionally trying to like be a distraction or be like a roadblock to your plan, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of I feel like someone is jealous or of some type of interference of a third party. This could even be some type of open relationship. Somebody don't want the motherfucking relationship to be so open no more once you do that shit, okay? Ooh, honey, Taurus, that's, that's digging to it. So we're going to jump off into your crystal wisdom healing oracle, okay? Messages. I'm also picking up on the energy, Taurus. Some of you all who are readers who feel as if you're being, you've been distracted or there's like a block in your energy, there's something about reading in the daytime or reading outside, okay? Flowers, herbs will also be important. I'm also hearing herbal divination. Past life. Past life regression. I'm also hearing multi-dimensional being, okay? Some of you all are multi-dimensional being. All right, let's get into it. Spirit, what crystal will be useful for my Taurus? Summer Rise and Venus, Cross Watchers, Jupiter, Mars, North Node for the month of December. What crystal? Well, you guys got Flint. Flint. What is Flint? Y'all know we don't chop and screw these damn oracle messages. Because I don't want to fuck nothing up. Portal power. I'm literally holding this card and I'm hearing connectivity. Cosmic consciousness, okay? Flint, sta okay, portal power, number two. Flint stabilizes energy and cuts through to the core of issues, clearing blockages and loosening ties. It opens portals to other worlds and hidden aspects of yourself. You are a person with profound inner depths. Do not be afraid to explore this hidden side. It contains treasure beyond knowing, together with attitudinal, I'm sorry, with attitudinal karma and repressed emotions affecting well-being. Flint connects you to your ancestors. A natural traveler, you know how to negotiate the shamanic underworld to obtain healing insights. That for divination use, strengthen your boundaries. Cut through confusion to the core of the matter. Soul retrieval is necessary if you left any parts of yourself in another life or in an abusive childhood experience. An unwelcome visitor from the past can be left behind, but recognize lessons before you just move on. For healing insight, pay attention to your energetic boundaries and core strength, cutting detrimental ties and strengthening your connections to the planet maintains well-being. The frequency of this stone is earthy. The chakra that is good for is the earth star and the base chakra. The timing, the timing is uh, was good for Scorpios. Also, the timing of Scorpio, and for those with the soul path of safely exploring other worlds. Okay, I literally heard astro traveling. Okay, so some of you guys could be coming into coming into or consciously coming into your ability to astro travel. Okay, there could be a lot of research regarding this. Some of you all also could be coming into some type of con um, conspiracy or some type of career around being a conspiracy theorist, but I feel like this has to do with some type of exposing of the government. I feel like there's a back and forth with that because somebody's scared they're going to get murked. You know why you're scared? Because you got murked in a previous life. But in this life, they want you to know that it's a part of your karmic your karmic blessings. Also, it's also a part of something about the clearing of karma, but I feel like you're going to be rewarded for this. Or you could be also... I'm here protected by the industry, whatever that means to you, okay? So let's dig into the tarot spirit. What, what messages do you have for my Taurus for the month of December? Summer Rise of Venus. My Taurus, show me recent past first. Because I strongly feel to dig slightly into the ending of November. I'm hearing that that's important, okay? So some of you all could have recently, like, had to leave somebody behind or set boundaries with another individual. I feel like either this was triggering to you or another person because someone needs to work on some type of harbor abandonment issues or harbor feelings around abandonment or rejection here. Some of y'all, this could involve a Pisces, a Cancer Scorpio. I'm also picking up on some of you all being afraid of new love or, or afraid to approach someone because you are afraid to be rejected, okay? For some of you all also, I am hearing, I am hearing Leo, okay? So some of you guys could... Some of y'all, this could be involved in a Leo, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm also picking up on facade, like someone's acting as if it's all good, but in the, deep down inside, they're hurting, okay? I'm also hearing betrayal, like someone could have also taken something from you, Taurus, or someone could have put you in a bad situation that you feel as if, like, you could have feel like you was really there for that person, for this person to, like, leave you, like... Look like Chuck, some of y'all feel as if even if like you had the opportunity to leave another person in a position when they didn't have as much 
And I feel like you chose not to do that. You chose to be loyal and some of you all are getting your ass kicked or was in and out November getting your ass kicked by, because you were a slave to your loyalty, okay? For some of you all also, I am picking up on, some of y'all could also be finding out that you're dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo individual who, they're, they, they're choosy lovers is what I'm hearing. This person... I'm hearing they don't have staying power, okay? For some of you all, this is how this person feels about you. I'm also picking up on some of y'all, if you could have recently quit your job, I feel like Spirit is saying that this was supposed to happen, like this was divinely guided, because I feel like for some of you all, you were refusing to make a decision in order for you to grow. This could also have to do with some type of entrepreneurship. Like some of you all are like forced, like spirit like pretty much forced your back against the wall for you to come out fighting, but come out fighting in a way that was actually like fated for you to come out fighting. I'm picking up on the energy of someone like pretty much like what else I got to lose type attitudes, okay? I'm also picking up on a situation like someone also could have felt that a situation could have been worked on or salvaged with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I strongly feel like... It can, but someone wants to be petty. This could be someone who you have children with. Someone's also not accepting that you've moved on from the partnership due to the fact that you could have found someone else. This could be between two children's parents, okay? I'm also picking up on, yeah. Someone, I see someone, if you have kids with somebody, I see that this person is going to come back. Or you're going to come back to this person, but I feel like someone only wants to work on a situation for the children, not be with that person, but like have some type of healthy co-parenting dynamic, okay? And I feel like whoever this is, it's because they didn't have their father figure around. This feels masculine. Could be feminine. It feels masculine. All right. So show me the present. Taurus, show me. Show me. All right. Some of you guys could be on the fence when it comes to some type of investment that you could have made. Some of you all could be really a bit anxi like anxiety filled or full of anxiety because you could have invested in something or put your money or started something and you feel as if it's on a standstill. Some of y'all could be seeing 333 a whole lot. I feel like expansion is here, but I feel like this has to do with your strategy. Some of you all put something out and you're just expecting for it to push itself, but Spirit is saying, no, you got to get out there and do the work, okay? This could even be someone who you're working with. Some of you guys could feel as if you made a mistake when it comes to going into some type of partnership with your partner. For others of you, watch what the hell you tell a earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like for some of you all, this person... <sighs> Somebody is only like around you. Someone sees you as like a creative genius. Someone's around you to steal your ideas or to revamp your ideas for their current business that's slow as hell, okay? Um, I'm also picking up on you guys may possibly needed to make a decision between two fire signs or how to end the situation with the fire sign because this person feels as if they're a burden, okay? Some of you are also are afraid of, are afraid of being a burden on a fire sign. I'm hearing confidence. Someone could have made you feel as if you were a burden, I'm also picking up on all the work that I put in, all the work that I put in, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with, some of y'all, again, the, somebody stealing your idea is truly fucking here, okay? I'm also picking up on fire magic, fire divination. Some of you guys, uh, it will be a good time for you guys to uh, tap into fire magic. I'm also hearing mirror magic, okay? For some of you all, you're seeing some type of harvesting uh, regarding some type of moon magic, especially if this was like some type of love spell that you could have done. I feel like some of you guys could be doing magic on your damn self, to manifest divine partnership or divine partnership. But I feel like even though you manifested this or you're manifesting this, some of y'all is scared. It's like you're going to manifest some shit that's going to knock at your door and you're going to act like you ain't home. Taurus, who got time for that? Okay? Either you want it or you don't, honey. Okay? For some of you all, there's divine intervention which you finding out about a third-party relationship. Possibly could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like someone... Someone could be very intuitive. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who knows that you want to be somewhere else or you know that this person wants to be somebody else, to be somewhere else. Somebody don't even like the person that they with. They just stand with this person to make sure that they don't get over here possibly to this fire sign. I'm also picking up on a relationship that could be like an open relationship, but the two women, like, like low-key, they're like competing against each other. I'm also hearing doppelganger. Like someone could be like a copycat. 
Someone could be copying or imitating an energy that they feel as if you want to get, you want to be close to or connected to. They feel as if this is going to keep you. And I feel like this illusion could have kept you in the damn days for quite some time. But for some of you all, you're coming out of that. And this person is a bit worried because I feel, I'm hearing that they're not financially stable. Or this person is getting to a space of being financially stable. And maybe you're worried because now you're seeing signs of this person doing what the hell they want to do. Even though that they acted a damn fool about you doing this. I'm also picking up, if you found out about a third party situation, Spirit is saying letting this go, making a judgment, making a choice to let this go. For some of you all, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sagittarius in the building, Cancer is here. I'm also seeing Gemini, Leo, okay? I feel like for some of you all who were indecisive when it comes to making some type of decision, I am hearing when it comes to paperwork, if you're going to be, some of y'all are going to be moving. I am hearing secretly moving, Okay? Some of you all, there's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Capricorn that got your phone track, got your phone tapped. I'm also picking up on trackers on the car, on the vehicle. There could also be a Libra that's doing this as well. I'm also picking up on, <clears throat> there could have been a child that was made in some type of like third party relationship or dynamic. Like somebody don't know who the hell their baby daddy is, okay? This could definitely be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A uh, strong emphasis on the Scorpio, okay, or Cancer. But some of you all, I'm also picking up on someone secretly wanting to come and make you an offer or uh, open up their open up their feelings towards you. I feel like somebody want to have this big ass cup experience with you. But I feel like for some of you all, there's a lack of accountability with this individual. I feel like someone's coming forth to you. They do love you and they want to have this big ass cup. But they coming forth, whoever this is, because this person is just, the, they just cannot fathom fathom you being with anybody else i'm also picking up on if you're with somebody and this person used to be married some of y'all could be finding out that someone could be using an ex-partner for money i feel like they're using the money to like pay y'all bills because i feel like somebody like could have gone like had some type of setback around finances and this person out here selling that meat selling that pee okay they popping it for motherfucking pimp or not okay so let's get it. Let's clarify just a little bit. Why is the strength here? Yeah. For some of you all, Spirit is saying, worry not. I feel like for some of you all, I am here. And if you experience a breakup with a fire sign, Spirit is saying this is temporary. Someone, I feel like Spirit was not going to let you guys continue in this codependent ass partnership here, okay? I feel like for some of you all, the relationship was was a major distraction to your bag, all right? For others of you, I am picking up on a promotion in your current space as well. Yeah. Some of you all also, some of you all are in two minds when it comes to your connection with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could also be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, on Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you all are feeling as if you're being given an ultimatum to choose sides, okay? I am here in open relationships, so this could have to do with the open relationship. Someone here, I feel like either way you feel as if someone, like, well, whatever decision that you make, Taurus, I am feeling that it's, it's going to hurt either way, okay? But I feel like this is assisting you when it comes to... You being true to your damn self about what it is that you want and what it is that you can and cannot work with, okay? For others of you, this has to do with you leaving a job. If you have to recently leave a position, Spirit is saying, listen, you can have whatever the fuck you like here, honey. But you gotta you gotta you gotta be willing to do some work and do some work that's gonna cause you to get out of your comfort zone. For some of you all this has to do with how you put yourself out there or how you present yourself to the world, okay? For others of you, I am picking up on the energy of someone just really being Oh, yeah, my sinuses. Mentally conflicted about a past life partnership. I'm hearing Danielle Jones, where I want to be. Say, when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad. Okay, so this could have to do with someone having a realization of some type of like past life connection or the importance or the significance of a connection here. The significance of a particular, like uh, a, a particular, like particular obstacles or circumstances within your journey is what I'm also hearing. Okay, for others of you, I'm also picking up on the energy. Some of you all have an opportunity to move or travel for work. Some of you all are wanting to just up and move states to get away from toxicity. I see. I see. For some of you all, that's going to be a beautiful choice. Spirit is saying, trust your intuition. For some of you all, if you're not trusting a water sign. Or what a water sign is saying possibly regarding a fire sign. You on the money, this motherfucker is a liar, okay? I feel like someone is trying to confuse you to keep you stuck for their game. Because I feel like they're not 
financially or mentally prepared to separate from you yet but somebody is fucking plotting a scheme and i feel like this is getting ready to be exposed to you okay so let me give you some advice give me some advice for my tourists some advice some of y'all gonna find out that there's a two-faced ass air sign in your energy okay huh but guess what Spirit says it's all happening for your motherfucking fa in your favor, abundance. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Some of y'all are studying manifestation. Some of you all also could have manifested this ending. You could have manifested something new which brought about this ending because it wasn't aligned with your blessing, baby. A lot of root chakra energy. Taurus getting to that motherfucking paper. Taurus opening up and letting blessings in their fucking life. These feelings is only temporary because Taurus going to bounce the fuck back. And lastly, at the bottom of the deck, you guys got honesty. Oh, Taurus, my allergies, honey. Honesty. I can't always expect for, expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. You know what you need to do. Spirit is saying, listen, I am guiding you. I will not steer you wrong. You have to trust me, but most importantly, trust yourself. Trust yourself. For some of you all, lastly, I mean, lastly, the advice we got is death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. If it had to go, it was only for you to grow, my baby. Now bounce back. What's the motherfucking pimp without a lip? Ow, what's this? Get it, honey. I love y'all a long time. I hope that this resonates with you all. I send you guys peace, love, abundance, and many blessings. Mwah. And I will see you guys here for mid-December or January. Y'all know how we give it up. Act like you know. But if you need, um, if you're not following me on Instagram, what the hell are you doing? It's at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. It's weekly tea over there. Get your ass over there. Love you long time. Bye, baby.